and I was curious to see what I could wash my hair with if um, shampoo is in short supply. So one of the things that I tried doing was I grated a bar of soap mixed up with warm water because um, soap was one of the ways in which people wash their hair. This was a disaster. It left too much um, wax and residue in my hair. I then tried using bicarb and you mix that up with a bit of water to make a bit of a paste. And that worked okay, a bit messy. Um, in those days, they probably would have been bending over a basin and washing their hair with a cup of water because they wouldn't have had showers to use. So you make it into a paste, scrub it into your scalp, rinse it off really well, and then it's, it's good if you can actually just put a little bit of vinegar in some water for the rinse because um, that helps stop the static, especially if you've got long hair like I've got. So I'm quite pleased with the shine. Um, it doesn't feel too coarse or anything. Uh, a girlfriend that does it quite regularly with bicarb, she's a bit sensitive to products, she said that it takes a while for your scalp and hair to kind of acclimatise and after a while you don't need to off wash it as often, which is pretty good because in uh, wartime they were short on fuel and heating and they had to boil kettles and everything. So um, it made sense they didn't wash their hair as often. And apart from that, they actually didn't have the time to because it was such a long procedure and they were working 50, 60 hour weeks. It would be almost impossible. So instead they would just um, tie their hair up with a scarf. Um, some of the other cleaning products I've been playing around with is the washing soda and you just need about a teaspoon or so in hot water to do your washing up with instead of um, dishwashing liquid and that's really good. It's bringing up glasses really clean and nice. Um, there's less, less chemicals and things like that in something like this and some of the products we put on our dishware so I'm pretty impressed with that. Um, Cloudy ammonia, brilliant for floors, getting rid of grease, cleaning ovens, that kind of thing. It's really cheap. It smells pretty bad, but the smell goes off really quickly. Um, it's, um, it's an old product and it's also used for softening things like wools and stuff. Uh, these two books here, they're really nice, useful books for um, natural kind of cleaning products that are pretty cheap to use. And just a few other things, Epsom salts, which we use for lots of different things to do with um, plants, having a bath, getting rid of muscular aches, and um, things like witch, he witch hazel and rose water for your face. And um, hydrogen peroxide, really useful, light bleach for lots of different things for cleaning, and also for cleaning your teeth. So you can dip your toothbrush in this, dip it in some bicarb, and um, that will clean up your teeth really well or you could use some salt or um, maybe some soot to make the white really shine on your teeth. And then things like essential oils for um, some of the cupboards and things like that to keep rid of moths and bugs. So clove oil is really good for that. Um, and then something like Vaseline for a sort of general kind of cosmetic. So lip balm, maybe if your hands are dry, use it for anything really. Um, so that's my experiment with cleaning products and washing my hair um, on wartime rations and um, just trying to find out what it might feel like and what the end result might be like. I'd love to know if any of you have got any ideas for products to use that would have been suitable to use during the war when um, goods were in short supply. Thank you.